Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Rishi Anand and Valery Salov. This game was played in Paris in 1991. Anand had white pieces and he started with e4. Salov played c5, Sicilian defense. Knight to f3, knight to c6, and Anand played bishop to b5, Rosolino attack. g6, Anand castled kingside. Bishop to g7, c3 preparing d4. Knight to f6, attacking the pawn on e4. Defending, Salov, castled kingside. h3, e5. Is that preventing d4 pawn push? No, it's not. d4. c takes on d4. c takes on d4. e takes on d4 and white to move. Should white take the pawn on d4 with knight? Or Perhaps there is a better move. What do you think? What would you do? Anand played e5, attacking the knight. Knight to d5. Is it time to take the pawn now? Maybe. Bishop to g5. Developing the piece with a tempo, attacking the queen. Queen to a5, attacking the bishop. Defending. a6. Bishop to c4, knight to b6 attacking the bishop, bishop to b3, knight takes on e5, knight takes knight, bishop takes on e5, and black is two pawns up. All he has to do is to develop his other pieces, exchange them for white pieces, and enter the end game. Is that an easy task? Let's have a look. Why to move? What would you do? Anand played bishop to h6, attacking the rook. And Salo played d6. What happens if bishop to g7? Let's have a look. If bishop to g7, bishop takes bishop, king takes bishop, queen takes on d4 check, king to g8. Queen to d6 and black's position is paralyzed. Okay, so in the game you have d6. Well, perhaps black thought that bishop will take the rook. That is the first move that comes to mind. Is there a better move than bishop takes rook? Please pause the video and try to find the best move for white. Anand played bishop to d2. Would you play this too? What is the purpose of this move? Well, let's have a look. Queen to c5. And now rook to c1. And black queen is trapped. That was better than winning the rook, isn't it? Queen takes rook. Bishop takes queen. Bishop to d7. Bishop to h6 attacking the rook. Rook from f to e8. White played the move and black resigned. Queen to f3. Black resigned. That is queen takes on f7. Checkmate. Well, let's have a look at one possible continuation. Perhaps not the only one. Bishop to e6. Then Rook takes bishop on e5. Pawn takes rook. Queen to f6. The bishop was defender of g7. Now any move. And then queen to g7. Checkmate. Nice game, isn't it? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.